Welcome to Flights of Fancy Storytime. I'm Anne, and usually I read stories and do craft activities in the National Air and Space Museum. We're bringing some of our museum stories to you at home. Today's story is about a flying circus. Have you ever been to a circus? Often, a circus has clowns and people who perform acrobatic tricks in a big tent. This is a program from a circus at the YMCA in St. Louis in the 1950s. And this is an etching of someone juggling three balls. That is a tricky act of throwing balls in the air and catching them. Well, a hundred years ago, there were people that did circus tricks like this using airplanes. We had a story about Bessie Coleman, who was a stunt flyer. Well, she was not the only person who did this. There were many popular flying circuses. Some of them had wonderful names. The Five Blackbirds, the Flying Aces Air Circus, the 13 Black Cats, Mabel Cody's Flying Circus and the Inman Brothers Flying Circus were a few of the names. One of the most famous was Ruth Law. This is her flying circus. They did not have any clowns, but they had acrobats and pilots, drivers, and people who were good at fixing airplanes. One trick that they did was to climb down a ladder and switch from one airplane to another. Can you see her upside down in the picture on the wing? This was very dangerous and exciting. Where do you think the person who took the picture was? They were in another airplane. These days, you can go to an air show and see people perform tricks with their airplanes. The tricks combine special moves like loops and rolls in different ways to make for some tricky flying. A loop is when you fly your airplane up and then turn upside down and fly in a big circle in the sky. Can you make a loop with your hand? A roll is when you spin your airplane. That would make me very dizzy. Patty Wagstaff is one of the most famous airshow pilots today. This is Patty's airplane upside down in the museum. If you were in a flying circus, which airplane would you choose to fly? All of these aircraft were used for aerobatic flying. That's another word for tricky flying. Would you like to be in a flying circus? Here's a story about that. Once there were three friends who liked adventures. They were Millie, Ruth, and Lou. They would plan their adventures during their afternoon tea parties. At one planning session, Ruth told her friends about a flying circus she'd heard about. The people did amazing acrobatic tricks with airplanes like handstands on the wing and loop-the-loops. Lou said, I wish we could be in a flying circus, but you have to be 16 years old to get a pilot's license. Ruth said, I can do a cartwheel. Lou exclaimed, so can I, sometimes. Millie said, let's put on our own circus show and invite all the other kids to watch. They decided that the circus would be the next Saturday. They made flyers to advertise their circus to the other kids in the neighborhood. Come and see the three friends flying circus, Saturday at 10, thrills, juggling, acrobatics. They knew that they would have to practice. Every day they worked on the show. Ruth practiced her juggling. Lou practiced her cartwheels. Millie did the most amazing jumps and kicks, and they could all spin hula hoops on their arms. While they were practicing, Millie's little brother Mo crept up to watch. He sat quietly on the fence, watching wide-eyed as the girls performed their stunts. Millie saw him sitting there and shouted, go away. But I wanna be in the circus too, whispered Mo shyly. No way, said Lou, you're too little. I'm not so little, I can do lots of stuff, cried Mo a little more boldly. Okay, said Ruth kindly, let's see what you can do. Mo tried a forward roll, it was a little crooked. Oh, said Millie in exasperation, that's not good enough for our circus. Mo put his head down and walked sadly away. The next day, Mo was back sitting on the fence as the girls practiced. Ruth said, we need a big ending for the show. How about a human pyramid, said Millie. Yes, they all said together and gave each other high five. Mo stood up on the fence. Can I be in the pyramid? Go away, shouted all three girls at once, and then they practiced making the pyramid. That night at bedtime, Millie felt a tiny bit badly about shouting at Mo. But it was the three friends flying circus, and Mo was too little. The next day was the last practice before the big show. Mo was back on the fence as the girls ran through the whole event, juggling, cartwheels, hula hoop spinning, 
and the final human pyramid. It was a pretty good show. Lou said, I don't know, I still feel like the ending needs something. Millie looked over at Mo. Mo, what are you doing? Mo was balancing on one foot on the fence. What, this? It's easy, said Mo. Ruth looked at the other two. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The girls high-fived and Millie asked Mo, could you climb to the top of the pyramid and balance on one foot? That's the ending that we need. Sure, easy peasy, said Mo. And he did. Wow, exclaimed Millie after they tumbled down into a forward roll for the ending. That was great, Mo. I'm sorry for not including you before. You are little, but you are mighty. And then Millie gave Mo a little hug and a big high five. The next day was the circus. All the neighborhood kids came to watch the show. It was spectacular. They ooed at the juggling and they awed at the hula hoops. But the big ending really got everyone on their feet. Ruth and Lou were on the bottom and then Millie balanced on top of them. Finally, Mo climbed on Millie's back and balanced on one foot. Ta-da! The three friends flying circus and Mo. And that's our story. It's craft time. Today we're gonna to make shadow boxes. I have my three friends flying circus themed shadow box. So here it is, the final one. I used a tissue box to make this one. And you can see I cut it out a little bit. I used some yarn to attach some airplanes that I cut out of paper. And uh, you can experiment with this using a flashlight. I'll show you what mine looks like. I also added a little toy to see what kind of shadow it will make. So here it is. And then oh, if I shine my light on it, it makes all kinds of neat shadows that you can make them zoom around. So this is really fun to play with and uh, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, you need an old box. Um, you can use a tissue box, or if you have a bigger box, you can use a bigger box and make a big shadow box. Or if you have a smaller box, maybe you have some cleaning supplies left over, and you can use that. This one is good because it already has a hole cut out. You don't have to cut a hole um, with just the way that the box is made. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to just tape that open so that it doesn't flop open on us while we're trying to attach our airplanes to it. And then um, we're going to cut out some airplanes from some paper. So I have some paper that I, uh, that I painted, but you can just use paper that's already colored or white paper, it really doesn't matter. And I cut this shape out. I'm going to, I drew the shape on and I'm gonna cut it out. So we're gonna try that out right now. I'm gonna cut that shape that I put on there. Out. It has a wing and the fuselage and the tail. There it is, our little airplane. Now I'm going to use a piece of tape and a piece of yarn to attach it onto my shadow box. So just take a little piece of tape and put that on the end of the yarn and then just tape that onto your airplane. If you want, you can test it out and say, oh, do you want your airplane to be diving down? That's an exciting kind of thing for a airplane to be doing in an air show. Or maybe you want your airplane to be flying up a little bit. So you can make one that goes up and down. Decide how you want it to be. There we go. <laughs> then if you use your flashlight on it, you can test it out and see all the different neat shapes that it makes on the back of the box. Have a great time with this experiment and craft and uh, send us in your results of what you made. We'd love to see them. If you use the hashtag air and space at home, you can share that with us or just tag the National Air and Space Museum's um, Facebook page 
air and space. And we'd love to see all of your crafts and, um, and see what you make with them. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye-bye.